Hello, 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 everyone. I hope everyone had a fabulous weekend. And welcome to this edition of Hashtag Five Your Souls. Thanks to all of my new subscribers. You're more than welcome. Come on in and join us as we continue our happy and inspirational journey in sewing. Okay, guys. We're going to now go on to Simplicity 9465. Yes, it's another vintage pattern. It's a 1950s vintage dress. And it has views A and B. Three quarter sleeves or your short sleeve version. This is the back of your envelope with the line joins. These are your back of the envelope instruction, instructional guide, pattern, fabrics to choose from. This version of this pattern has a contrasting color, as you can see from the picture. It also um, suggests fabrics like rayon, silk, lightweight wool, linen, cotton, and contrast in cotton, picat, rayon, and as always, extra fabric to match your plaids. So, let's take a further in-depth look at what's required for this pattern. Okay, here we are inside with the instructional guide and here is a better view of your dresses a three quarter length sleeves b the short sleeves i probably would do the three quarter length sleeves when i get ready to sew the pattern this pattern is called a mrs dress and it has 16 pieces to it Pretty detailed. Now let's look at some of, of the steps. The layout for A. You're gonna need one a pattern pieces one through fourteen for A. Here is your layout. The contrasting collar and cuffs. Here is the layout for that. Let's move a little further in depth with this pattern guy just to see some of the beginnings of what is in entailed create this dress. Hmm. So here are some sewing directions. Your glossary. And also Shows you how to create the dots, edge, finish, how to um, seam finish, and it tells you about bound buttonholes and how to make it. So the beginning pieces, it's a lot of detail to this dress. 
So the beginning of the um, instructions really, really looks kind of complicated. But as you take each individual steps to complete the dress, just focus on what you're doing and not the total whole project. Just concentrate on the area that you're in and making sure that you get that particular area completed and right per the instructions. Pretty detail. It has pleats in the front. Here's how the pleats are looking on the envelope. I like pleats. And I like big collars. So, to recap, this showcase pattern for this Friday Souls is at 9465 1950s Vintage Dress Pattern. Okay, so next up is another Mimi G pattern, S8889. I'm interested in sewing the blouse only. This pattern has been out for a long while. And at the bottom it says, Sewing Along with Mimi G. And I guess she has a tutorial, which will make it great. So, suggested fabrics are cotton types, linen types, for A, which is the shirt, chambray, poplin, shirtings. B, also in chalice, crepe, gabardine, extra fabric needed to match plaids as usual. Like I said, I'm only interested in the top. It has wide leg pants is what the envelope is saying it's called. So, this is a better view of the line drawings inside on your instructional guide. Here are your pieces. And for A, the shirt, you're using pattern pieces one through 10. Here are your layouts. And these are the beginning instructions for your um, shirt. This particular pattern is from size 16 to 24. Again, the Mimi G S8889. Okay, guys, remember um, S9105, um, this celebration of the 4th of July is getting ready to come up. And I love sailor dresses. I just always like that combination of red, white, and blue anyway. So, you saw the big stripe, red and white, in my other video. I was thinking about maybe contrasting it with this small version of the candy stripe or red, white, red and white stripes. 
I got this fabric. Yes, this fabric was pat this fabric was purchased from Trace Jewelry Fabrics. And this is my first time making a pat um purchase from her. I like the quality of the material. And I'm sure that I will reorder from her again because it didn't take long to get the material and I appreciate the shipping she did the timing in it i really appreciate it it was really really quick so thanks you guys for joining me for this version of my hashtag friday souls thanks to all my new subscribers i look forward to enjoying our journey together on youtube hashtag friday souls and throughout the entire journey wherever we meet comments community page please continue to join me share your um comments and inspirational goodness to all thanks for watching and i'll see you on our next friday souls bye